The circuit we are looking at is an RC coupled amplifier. Any circuit that increases the signal strength is an amplifier. Amplifiers are classified based on coupling elements, applications and frequency response. The RC coupled amplifier network is broadband in nature. It gives wideband frequency response without peak at any frequency and hence is used to cover a wide frequency range. Some of the applications are in audio frequency small signal amplification, video amplification and in mixers in RF amplifiers. The circuit of an RC coupled amplifier is basically a voltage divided by a circuit. Capacitor C2 and C3 are coupling capacitors at input and output respectively to block DC and just pass AC signals. CE is a bypass capacitor at the emitter. It is basically needed to stabilize the AC Q point and to remove AC degeneration. RE is used as a negative feedback resistor which stabilizes the circuit. Without CE, RE will nullify the effect of small AC input. This is called AC degeneration. The design is based on the collector current. Input and output impedances play an important role in the accurate design. Now let's get to the working of the circuit. When the input is provided to the base emitter junction, the biasing levels change due to the variation in voltage at the base emitter junction. This results in change of collector current across the load which is passed on to the output via C3. The Thevenin equivalent of R3, R4 and C2 at the input side act as high pass filter as shown and is responsible for the first half of the frequency response. Similar action of a low pass filter takes place at the output side which is responsible for the second half of the response. Now let's get to the simulation part. To vary the input, just click on the function generator. We get a control panel. It gives us options of sine wave, triangular wave and square wave. The frequency and amplitude of the wave can also be varied here. Set the output level of signal generator to around 10 millivolts. Select the sinusoidal output. To check the output, click on the oscilloscope. Here we have two channels, channel A which is connected to the input and channel B which is connected to the output. Three options for coupling are provided for both the channels. They are ground coupling, AC coupling and DC coupling. Here channel A is connected to the ground coupling as we have to view the output. To view the output, run the simulation. In CRO, we have various options to change the scale, position, time base, etc. Necessary changes can be done and the results can be observed. Thank you.